Welcome to The Point of View. This is your favorite current affairs show on television. Here on The Point of View, we pick the right topics, get the right guests, and ask them relevant questions on issues that matter to you. Tonight, we have an exciting show for you. The president addressed the nation on Wednesday. It was the state of the nation from his account, covered quite a number of sectors. Many aspects of that speech have generated controversy, not least the aspects on infrastructure and roads. Tonight, we zero in on the roads debate with two key members of parliament from both sides of the house. Stay with us. Welcome back. So tonight on The Point of View, we start off with the President's State of the Nation address. It was a long speech, but there were critical areas that led to some conversations. The part on the infrastructure was really one of the areas that caught attention. The President said that it is in the area of infrastructure development that his government has had the most success, pointing to some 10,800 kilometers of newly constructed roads. Let's actually hear what he said, because I will be taking you to Parliament to speak to two key members of the House on this particular component of the speech. Here's what Mr. President said on Wednesday. Mr. Speaker, it is in the road sector that we have registered the greatest infrastructure achievement. I know that the word unprecedented is often used with careless abandon in our public discourse, but I use it carefully and purposefully. In the five years of my government, so far, more roads have been built, improved, and upgraded than that at any equivalent period under any government in the history of Ghana. Some, some 10,800 and 85 kilometers of new roads have been constructed in these five years. Let me mention, Mr. Speaker, that yesterday it was my honor and great pleasure to have commissioned the Tamale Interchange. The first such interchange in the, history, in the northern sector of our country which the, people, which the people of Tamale gladly celebrated. I considered it to be a most satisfying birthday present. We intend to continue with the building of roads around the country to accelerate the opening up of our country. So that was the president making reference to roads constructed under his regime. The Ministry of Roads then sent out a statement to try to explain this particular aspect of the speech, claiming, for example, that road construction includes any activity on the road. And also, given the length of, kilograms of kilometers of both paved and unpaved roads. When we come back, I'll take you to the House of Parliament. I was there earlier today to speak to the chairman of the Committee on Roads, Kennedy Osei Nyako, who happens to be the MP for Akim Suedru. He defends the president. But on the other side, I have the MP for Adaklu, Governor Kwame Agboja, who thinks the president was misled and that there ought to be a retraction and an apology. We'll be in Parliament when we come back. Stay with us. So we are now at the West Wing of Parliament. We are at the office of the chairperson of the Committee on Roads. He is also the member of Parliament for Akim Suedru, Honorable Kennedy Osei Nyako, to clarify some issues around the road sector and give us what he knows from the perspective of Parliament on the state of roads in Ghana, how many kilometers of roads have been constructed by the Akufuado government, 
and how far with other road projects, in particular the Sino Hydro deal. Honorable, thanks for joining us on the program. Thank you. So, uh, what role does the road committee play in the way the road sector works? Well, okay, thank you, uh, Bernard, for having you this morning. I, mean, I think uh, simple. Uh, for the road and transport committee, we have oversight responsibility on all that the three major infrastructure agency does. That's the uh, roads ministry, transport, and the railway ministry. So we play oversight. We make sure that whatever project that they are doing, whether the ones that they came to the house for maybe for a resolution or whatever it is, we have to follow it up and ensure that I mean the the the, the work according to whatever plan that they've set for themselves. So that is basically. So if a, a road project is delaying, would it be your committee that should be able to check this? If, for example, because I was told a couple of days ago that majority of the questions that come on the floor have to do with roads. Yes. So that suggests that there's a lot of interest in that sector. So do you work in collaboration with the ministry or are you more the ones who check the ministry? Well, I would say we, we work in collaboration, but still we check um, from time to time to see the programs that they have, whether they are going by the programs that they've set in their own uh, budget estimates when they appeared before the committee. So we try to look at it. Uh, but most of the times you are interested in those ones that maybe they've uh, come to the house to uh, seek for approval and all those in those major rules. We want to take key interest in that and monitor because they are loan facility. The GOG project, most often we don't normally put I mean much uh, time on it but when it comes for us to go around the country to do inspection on some major project we may want to look at one or two projects and see the progress of it. Mm. The president says something very controversial mm. during the State of the Nation last week. He says that it is in the infrastructure sector that he has registered the greatest achievement. Then he says the word unprecedented is often used with careless abandon in our public discourse. But I use it carefully and purposefully. Then he says, in the five years of my government mm -hmm. so far, more roads have been built, improved, and upgraded than at any other equivalent period under any government in the history of Ghana. Well, we don't know if he provided evidence. Because the next paragraph, he says, some 10,875 kilometers of new roads have been constructed in the last five years. Those two ideas seem to be two different things. Because in the first one, he's saying more roads have been built, improved, and upgraded than at any other period. He did not provide evidence for mm -hmm. that. Then he goes on to now talk about new roads. So let's deal with the first one. Where is the evidence that more roads have been built, have been built improved, and upgraded than at any other equivalent period, including Kwame Nkrumah time? Yeah. Okay. So this is a simple and uh, I think this has tend to be a controversy and over uh, the past days I've been following the discourse both on radio and media and the answer is simple. If you want to know what the road ministry or this government have done, the statistics are there. So we don't need to struggle too much. I am happy last Friday, uh, the Thursday, the ministry came out with uh, a press statement and gave details all the roads that this government has done. Okay, so we'll go back and see what actually has this government done that is claiming that he has built and constructed. So we came when we met a total road size or let's say uh, a network size of 78,402 kilometers. That is the entire stretch of network we have in this country. Now you want to find out the mix or the length of network classes that we have. So we have the feeder road, we have the urban road, we have the, uh, uh, the trunk roads. If you put all this together, at the time that we took office, we came to office, if you look at even trunk road, we have a total size network of 14,582 kilometers. Feeder road was about 48,000 357 kilometers. Then the urban road was about 50. So when you put all into it, we have a total network size of 78,402. Now you come down this network that you have. 
we have they have categorized this network into two. We have the one that we call pave, and we have the one that we call unpave. The pave means that you see black on it, either bitumen, either asphaltic over or asphalt valley, either dual carriage lanes. These are how they have group. Let's say those paved ones. Mm -hmm. Then we have the unpaved ones. The unpaved ones. Uh, those one that somebody will say is a feeder road, there's no black on it. But there is a program to maintain, to keep it, to make it more motorable. That you can even travel, let's say, about 50 to 60 kilometers per hour on it because it is in good condition. They've done the drains and everything. So these are two different things. Two, these two categorization, they have several or different programs. They use in managing it so as for instance when we talk about the paved when you go under paved they can use a program like resealing they can use a program like partial reconstruction they can use a program like upgrading they can use a program like asphalt overlays to keep those road that's road the paved one in good condition and motorable when we come to the unpaved they have programs like grading, graveling, regraveling, and spot improvement to maintain it. When we took over power in 2017, the percentage of roads that was paved in this country, everybody was known, was just 23% of the 78,402. That was what was paved. It means about 77,000 of the network were unpaved. It means there was no black on it. We we're just maintaining. We're spending money to either keep it, you have built the drainage. Some some of them maybe we build covert. Some of them we improve the surfacing, we regraving, and we we put roller on it to smoothen the road for uh, uh, let's say road users to be easier or commuter to be easier for them. So this is what we came to meet. Now per the new record statuses that we have which, as I speak now, uh, KUSC is now authenticating the record or the size of road network that we have now. So because within that period, within 2017 to now, to, uh, to 2021, that is five years, our road network size have increased almost about 15,000 plus. So now we have 94,203 kilometers of road network size in this country. Out of this road network size, like I, 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 I gave the indication of uh, the various classes that we have, it is only, if you look at it, urban road, that is the town roads that we have, when you go to the big, big cities, like in Accra here, in Kumasi, Sunyani, all the big, big Tamale, the size of urban roads have increase from what we came to meet about 15,662 kilometers to 28,480 kilometers. What does it tell you? It tells you that a lot of road works have gone on within the urban centers. Is this a product of increased construction or reclassification? So this is the network size, the size of network that you increase the size of network. The network size means when you go to, there were some areas that the road have not been engineered. When they say a road is engineered, it means they've captured, they've taken all the technical details they need on the road and now they've put in it in the Ghana, uh, in the Ministry of Roads and Highways, their status, their data. So when you want to find out a road, then you'll be able to identify that this road, maybe this road was somewhere in Adenta, it was not classified, or maybe in Oyarefa, it was not captured in the data network size of Ghana Highways, but now they've captured it. They've captured it because they have engineered it. Either they've cut the surface, they build the drainages, and they put it. Some, they will not even do anything, but they will capture, they will capture it and add it to the data. But when you come down, if you want to know the statistics of all these 
1,203 that I'm talking about. You want to find out how much percentage is paved as at that period. How much is not paved as a, is unpaved as at that period. And per the statistics that Ministry itself have put in out last Thursday, if you look at the new the new network size of 94,203 kilometers, they said 27 percent of it had been paved. So you do the calculation, calculation by yourself within that period. It tells you. So if you want to know this one, it is not a rocket sign. You know, you have to just do the calculation, do the find out the percentage of if it is 27 percent that have been paved. Mind you, in 2017, it was 23 percent of 78,000. Now it is 27 percent of 94,203. So you do the calculation and you find out that what has been paved and 73 percent is unpaved it means even what if we are using the 78,000 and we are not even using the new data that we have which currently KNUSC is authenticating it to make sure that finally they approve it and in the next budget when they are reporting in the budget they will use this new figure to put mm. it in even if you want to use that so two points one. there if KNUST mm. is still validating mm. it mm. Why are we letting the president say it? Number two, when the, in February, a question mm. was asked by one MP mm. about the progress with road, road projects. Road. Mm. The minister mentioned 4,600. The, the document mm. he provided yeah. was 4,600. That's right. So why, if, if this was there, why, why did he tell us only last two months that it was 4,600? Okay. So, Bernard, let me tell you how this uh, road was uh, take, getting the data well, and, uh, at the ministry they don't report or record road that is not completed. They only report and put the data of road that are completed in their website. So between 2017 to May 2021, the record that they had that completed road was 4,263 kilometers. I'm sure I'm right. Okay, so... Between that, it doesn't mean that there were a lot of road projects that were going on, but they were not completed. He couldn't have reported it to the house because they were, the question was specific. They want to know road that had been completed. So he was right to report on those that were completed. Between that, between the May to December, those that have started long ago somewhere at, let's say, 90% completion, some maybe 98, some maybe 70, they were not reported. But between that period to December 2021, those roads might have been completed. So now they can now get that data, authenticate it, and capture it. Good. So I noticed that he asked 1,502 to the 4,200 yes. up to December. Yes. So up to May 2021, mm. 4,263. Yes. June to December, 1,502. Mm. No problem. But then he adds... 4,910 mm. up to February. But the description there is grading. Yes. Spot. Department of Feeder Road yes. spot, improvement. spot Improvement. So there are two issues. Mm. Grading means maybe there's a footpath or there's a road mm. that you have just cleared. Mm. You haven't put anything on it. Mm. Right? Mm. And then Spot Improvement, in my view, then could be some specific portions that have been... So it's not like the whole road, maybe a section. It's the whole road, but what they do is they built covert. When they say spotting, then maybe on that road you see some, uh, maybe uh, river parts and all those some things. Some get maybe eroded. Eroded, so, so they build, they build the, uh, uh, the covert. Yeah. Then they put gravel on it, they roll it just to keep the... So my point is that mm -hmm. is when you come to the list, mm -hmm. grading doesn't even include graveling. Okay. So grading is the lowest level. You just clear a road. Mm -hmm. Now if you are adding... Almost 5,000 kilometers mm. of just grading to your overall road project. Is that not misleading? Sure. Because for a road, you've, you've given us critical roads, cocoa roads, mm. town roads, mm. asphalt overlay, and all that. Mm. And graveling. All of that, when you put it together, is only 5,000. Then you add almost 5,000 of grading. And you want us to clap for you. Just grading a road? Well, so you may call it as grading of road. When you go to the ministry, they have several programs to keep our road. And I've, I've given you the indication. How do we keep the unpaved road in good, in motorable condition for people 
for road users to use it. It means they are specific. Even when you go to Australia, in Australia now, they have programs on their road that we call it the spot improvement. They also do it in Australia. There are several areas of, of our network that it is only spot improvement or grading that you can do to keep the road in good shape. Like when you, are, you have a, a farm road, as you as speak now, even you, you, uh, European Union, they have given us money to do spot improvement of about 800 kilometers in the upper west alone. So government spent millions of Ghana city each year in making sure that we keep setting road that we cannot put black on it in good shape. And one of it, or some of it, is what he has reported. These are not, you cannot say because they have not put black on it, so you, can, you don't classify it. It was worse. People wouldn't have used it. Car, no car would have been able to use it. But we decided to keep it, build those covert, build those drains beside, put some gravels on it, or latrite on it, then we roll it, make sure that th the road is very smooth. So about half of the roads that you claim to have improved was just grading. So don't forget that almost about 73% of our road in this country are unpaved. So how do you keep those roads in good condition? If you have a road network, which 73% of it is unpaved, they are unpaved. There's no black on it. So apart from the programs that government is doing to even reduce the paved, uh, the unpaved one, and pave them, they are also program, I mean direct program or specific program or deliberate programs to make sure that those ones that we cannot put bitumen on it, yeah. it could be a farm road. Why do you go and put a bitumen on a farm road? But you notice that the ministry in the statement had to even come out and now say that technically any activity on the road amounts to construction. Hence, His Excellency's statement that so far more roads have been built, improved and upgraded than at any other time is true. You notice that in normal English speaking, if you say you've built a road, that doesn't come to... Uh, just grading well, a road, I, 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 just grading a road yes, I get you. is not yes, construction. I, so I, I get the ministry has to now come and say that I get you. I even get grading you. a road is also road construction. I, because I if you tell you. your constituents I'm coming to do road for you, yes. and you just come and grade, grade the road, it. they are I, not going I, to be happy I, with I, you. I, I get you, Bernard. But you see, it is not... That is why it, is, it shouldn't be so simple for any ordinary person. These are technical issues. We are talking about a road issue. So... As for the ordinary person, like you are saying, the person may want to, oh, once you say you've constructed road, then it means you've put in bitumen or, or you've put in asphalt on it. That is not how it, road construction, because the entire or the size, of, there are specific programs that we use to keep the road in good shape. So the president was right when he said that we have built road like, because you will not build any new road. It's the old one that you have that you keep it. We keep the old one until we get new road. We add new network to our network size, like we are doing that. It is the old network that we have that you design programs. Yeah, but to, even even that is tackle it's, it. it's, 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 uh, it's debatable because we have data that suggests that between 2000 and 2005, mm. the road network in Ghana increased from about 35,000 to yes, almost 57,000. Yeah, 57. Under Kufo's Kufo's government. Kufo's government. So you cannot say that. So, so you see, if we take the four years of Kufo's mm. government, mm. if you look at the road network, mm. the increase is higher than under Kufo. Ado. So to say that more roads have been improved, built and upgraded than at any other Kufo, no. it's, it's cannot no, be true. No, he's, he, uh, President Kufo was specific. Within the first five years, Kufo time was the one, the 57. No, it was by the time in 20, by 2009 that we were leaving office, we have that size of road. We had that size of network. So within eight years, Kufo has been able to increase that road. It doesn't necessarily mean that maybe within the four years, he increased, the, his government was able to increase it to that size. But within the eight years, but Kufo was specific that within this period to this period, I've been able to increase that much. And even when it comes to proper road construction, those ones that we have put in black on it. If we are comparing his record with 
all previous government, you see that within five years, the one, let's even take the spot improvement and other things. Let's limit ourselves to those that they are putting black on it. So, for instance, if you put the, the one that he has put in black on it, it's about 5,000 plus. If that is what we, let's restrict ourselves to that. Which government in the history of this country, within five years, have been able to build 5,000 kilometers of road that he have put in black on it? It doesn't happen. Not even during President Kufo. Not even during President... I have the records here. During... Uh, between 2009... I have here. Between 2009... See, this is 2009 and 2016. These are records that are dead. Urban roads. Look at the urban roads built a total of... Uh, but you have 2017 to 2021. But, no, no. That's what I'm saying. See here. 2009 to 2016. I'm recording okay. the records here. Okay. And whose document is this? This one from the ministry. I see. So when so you go... 2009 you have, to 2016. Yes, yes. If you take urban road, this is how much they built. Mm. The NDC time. 1,804. 1,804. If you take... Uh, uh, urban the, road, another, that one is asphalt. Within the cities. Like Accra and big, big cities. They did how much? 638. Mm. Look at Department of Federals, like the one I'm telling you, sport improvement, keeping the uh, road in shape. Mm. Sometimes too, they will construct it, they will put bitumen on it. Look at how much they did. They did 1,613. Then look at Ghana Highway. These are trunk roads. So you're saying that the 2009 to 2016 is 4,600. So, so eight years. 5, yes. Eight years. Within eight years. Look at what they have done. So if somebody come and within five years, he's able to do this. We are not saying it is, if you look at our road net, the, our bad road, and look at how much we are doing, we are not mm. doing anything. Right. But in, if you want to talk about in kilometer wise, we have done a whole lot. Because how much is a, the cost of a kilometer of road in this country? So you want to do simple. Let's say we did not even do Let's do a simple calculation. We did not even do, let's say, asphalt overlay. We did only bitumen surfacing. And bitumen surfacing, we are talking between $400,000 to $600,000. So if, let's say, 5,000 kilometers have been constructed, bitumen surfacing alone, let me take the asphalt overlay, which is very expensive because a kilometer of an asphalt is about 1.2 to $1.5 million. So let's restrict it to... Calculate, multiply this by, let's say, an average of, let's say, even 600000 or $500,000. And see how much money this country has spent or a coup for the government. Has spent. So, I get worried when people make the, create the impression that, oh, that when we know that on records, or if you look at the past record, no government has been able to build such road. Okay. Thank you for talking to us. Mm. We'll leave it here and then come back when the opportunity presents itself. So, that was the... Chairman of the Roads Committee in Parliament, the Honorable Kennedy Osenyako, MP for Achim Suredu, insisting that the President was right, the Road Ministry's classifications are correct. We'll now speak to Honorable Govins Agboja, who is the ranking member of this same committee. I'm sure he has the same document in front of him. We'll see what interpretation yeah, maybe, he puts to it. Maybe, maybe Stay with us. He, he doesn't have it. <laughs> I'm sure he does. So when we come back, we'll be speaking to the Honorable Govins Kwame Agboja, who is the ranking member of the Roads Committee. This is the point of view. Stay with us. Welcome back. This is still the point of view. We've moved from the West Wing to the East Wing. We are now in the office of the ranking member for the Roads and Transport Committee, Honorable Governor Kwame Agboja, to deal with the same issue of the road sector where we are with the length of roads that have been done and the state of roads. So, Honorable Abuja, yeah. you raised this issue first and said that the claim in the state of the nation that the president had done, or the MPP in their first term in this year, had done 10,800 kilometers of roads was false to the extent that you would even resign. We've spoken to your chairman who has sought to corroborate this. He showed us a couple of documents, some of which you have, mm -hmm. which suggest that that 10,875 is... The 4,263 you mentioned yep. as of May 2021, mm -hmm. 1,502 between June and December 2021, 
And then from that period to February, there was 4,910 of grading <laughs> that when you add, brings the total to 10,875. So that's some evidence, is it not? Uh, Bennett, uh, thank you very much. Uh, no evidence at all. Mm. Uh, this is uh, basically uh, refusing to uh, be forthright in terms of truthfulness. Mm. Uh, the president was categorical in his uh, uh, statement that he has uh, constructed 10,800 kilometers of new roads across the country. Even with respect to the 4,263 that you talked about, only 68.5 kilometers of that was new road. A bulk of that was uh, asphaltic overlay. And I can even say that uh, between that day and today, they might have done a little bit more as asphaltic overlay and everything else. But the bottom line is that the various interventions they make on the road sector is what he's talking about, not new project. And the sad thing is that in the letter issued by the uh, Ministry of Roads and Highways, basically sought to give some justification, which is not actually to confirm whether they have constructed 10,800 kilometers of road, but just to say that uh, between June and December 2021, uh, additional 312 kilometers of uh, interventions were done on critical roads. Uh, 367 kilometers was done on cocoa roads. And then 122.21 kilometers was done on town roads. Uh, donor pro uh, programs, they said they've added uh, 50 kilometers, all amounted to 1,000. But that also includes asphaltic overlay of exactly. 81, Ex exactly. Sinohydro of 69. Exactly. But the bulk of it is just grading under Department of FIDA, uh, FIDA Road. And, uh, uh, Bernard, uh, grading is, uh, is, 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 is actually a routine maintenance work, which we do every year in Adaklu and everywhere, especially those of us whose roads are not hard. They are, they are gravel surface. So, after a period of time, rain washing away the top and other things, the, the, the surface becomes irregular. So you bring a, a motor grader to just uh, uh, scrape the top a bit and make it slightly more level than it used to be, which is a routine maintenance work. So mm. how did that be uh, be be uh, become, uh, have done this as new projects? It cannot, it cannot be. And in any case, when you do 4,900 kilometers or 5,000 kilometers of grading, and this year you call it new project, since it's a, a routine maintenance pro, uh, work, you're going to have to do the same thing next year. What will you do? Will you call it another five? You have done another 5,000. I think the president actually did it, uh, uh, was misled. And all we needed to do was to say, look, uh, the way the road entities report the classification of road is time-tested and should remain like that. Mm. So when you do grading, okay, we have done 5,000 kilometers of grading upgrading we have done this there's no need to introduce a new term called new roads because when you have done is a uh, new road would have been under construction you understand when it's upgrading it's upgrading when it's uh, graveling is graveling when it's regraveling is regraveling uh, so where is this temptation to try to in, uh, infuse a new terminology which mm. actually makes things uh, or bring uh, the, the president to the position in which well the ministry's has. explanation is that mm -hmm. technically yeah. any activity on the roads mm -hmm amounts to construction. Hence, His Excellency's statement that so far, more roads have been built, improved, and upgraded than at any other equivalent period. So the assumption is that the word grading mm -hmm. could be upgrading. And so when they say roads have been constructed, mm -hmm. it's not necessarily meaning they've put so what is the new? What is, what is the new in the president's uh, statement then? What, 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 what is the new in it? So if a road has not been upgraded, yeah. or if a road has not been graded, mm -hmm. and you grade it, this is not a new road. How can that be a new So it's an already existing road that has just been improved. Exactly. You just done, done, done an improvement on it. So your issue is with the usage of 10,000 new construction. Yes, because in my, in my, in my, in my view, 5,000, which is grading, is not something the president should even talk about because it's routine maintenance. Not even the DC, DC chief executive should be using that as, as an achievement in any way. So the bottom line is, have the, has the president constructed 10,800 kilometers of new road? No. Because if you read the minister's own meet the press that he did the last one, which was somewhere, I think, in May 2021, they, they said they have programmed to do 11,101 mm -hmm. kilometers mm -hmm. over a period. Mm -hmm. And out of that, they were in, uh, trying to say if they can complete 6,000. And even mm -hmm. that one became an issue. Look, Bernard, the, the, the distance between Keta and Paga, for instance, is about 1,000 kilometers. Mm -hmm. 
We uh, the president is pre uh, is talking and say we have done ten of that, and if you do ten of that, it will be so much evident across the country. Tell me a, a, a two hundred kilometers of road in this country that you have seen that have been sealed totally. It's, inter it's interesting because when I asked the chairman of the committee, he said he understands it when people in normal parlance yeah. say that what the president said yeah. may be confusing because yeah. when you say construction in normal language, yeah. it suggests you have done what you just said. But he's saying that technically, yeah. once you have touched the road and done anything on it, it's a construction. Bernard, That's what your chairman is Bernard, saying to me. That you have spoken to engineers and other things. Mm. And at any activity, if, if they reduce it to any activity on the road, uh, 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 okay, a contractor mobilizes to site. It's, it's one of the activities of the road. But he hasn't even touched the road. He just put equipment and stuff on site. So can you co consider that one also as construction? Okay, a contractor goes to the site and scarifies. Scarify is like when you use a motor grader uh, or a dozer with uh, the, the thing uh, like uh, 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 coming out on the ground just to remove the top or create losing the, uh, the top so that you can either roll it back or, or remove it and put something on it it's also an, an activity you see if we allow the government to find justification for this what they have obviously gotten wrong we may be entering into a new territory but now they are saying that any activity on the road so pothole patching is part of it how were they able to uh, quantify pothole patching into kilometers That's meanwhile in the past Pothole patching is pothole patching. Yes, so Accra to Mamoto is probably more than 27 kilometers uh, off road. But you can go and do uh, remedial works on the, uh, on, on, uh, as, as uh, Ibrahim Muhammad uh, did in the past uh, when a, a, a portion of the bridge collapsed. Just a, a small portion. Mm. But the road is 27 kilometers. Do you go and capture 27 kilometers as road on which you made an intervention? No. And let me tell you, this particular statement of the president is so controversial. That for the first time since I came to Parliament, the minister, his deputies, my chairman, and his deputy have refused to speak to the uh, to 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 the sonar on roads. Oh, but I just spoke to your chairman. No, on the floor to debate their own decision. He, they are refusing to. to but is it being debated today? Today is the last day. Are you are you are alleging that he he's, he hasn't even. In fact, from the day they are, they can't even show up in. Are Parliament. his deputies also members of Parliament? Yes. So you are you are saying that today, during the debate of the sonar. Nobody from that sector. We started even Friday, the Thursday actually. They've also not made it. They haven't. They haven't spoken. The minister only came to the house to uh, answer questions. My chairman has been out of the, the house, in and out. But, but does you, he need to be there for a debate to happen? No. no normally, once the sonar is done, every sector minister and the ranking and chairman debate issues raised in lieu of that uh, particular. This is the first time that the issue is so bad they can't even stand it. They themselves can't even come and stand in front of the cameras in the chamber and say that this is what we mean. And this letter the minister wrote. How can this be a justification for 10,800 kilometers of road, new road time? But the ministry being clever, they never used new anywhere. They just said roads constructed and maintained. And I agree with the ministry's rendition. Because you see, like I said, routine maintenance works are the, the 4,800 uh, kilometers. But even the documents that the minister himself talked about in terms of interventions made, and I agree also with the ministry, the list of interventions. So Ashwati Valley, you and I know what Ashwati Valley is. They have done 1,400. I am saying that figure will be more than 1,400 today. Construction, then the railroad, 68.5. So the word construction is used in the ministry's own Yes, document. because there's a development part of the ministry, which is... So then the claim that the word con any activity on the road is construction, quote-unquote, cannot be true because then construction here is clearly differentiated yeah, exactly. from... Graveling, regraveling, okay. partial reconstruction, construction, rehabilitation, resealing, spot improvement, upgrading. Mm. And, and then the ministry, the engineers, have all these categories and they capture it appropriately. Mm. And guess what? When you say you have done 10,800 kilometers, go and check the budget statement. 20, uh, 20 uh, what do you call it, 21 budget, the capital investment in the budget was just about 1.2 billion. In this budget, it would be about 2 billion. A kilometer of road is averagely 4.55 million Ghana cities. With that expenditure should have been traced even to the budget and then releases. If you read the, the, uh, meet the press that they talked about, one of the biggest problems we have in the country currently is our inability to pay for works that contractors are doing. And as we speak, 
About 9 billion Ghana cities is, is owed to contractors for works done wow. at different stages, not even completed <clears> works. So we are in real problem in terms of the road sector. And like I've said, if you add the cocoa roads, over 15 billion, mm. Sino Hydro, uh, critical roads, donor funded roads, we are about 40 billion Ghana cities in terms of commitment on road projects. My understanding is that yes. this state of the nation addresses have to be signed off by the specific ministries. Okay. So this is just based on what you know about how these things work. Yes. Whose mistake could this be, if it is a mistake? I, 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 I believe this, is, this has become uh, it's a deliberate uh, thing. Why you don't do think I, it's a mistake? No. Because wow. the president also turned up in the house. Whilst uh, 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 last month, my, our, good, our friend, our colleague in, the, in parliament, the, the minister for uh, 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 lands and forestry, came to respond to a question as to how many trees were planted in 2021 as part of the Greening Ghana thing. And he mentioned a figure of about just over 4,000 uh, trees planted. In fact, when we pushed him, can you guarantee these trees were planted? He said, look, that's the number of uh, seedlings that were collected. From as of four million. Four million. As of whether the four million trees, well, because some of them were collected around uh, Accra Mall, whether the person go to Okonglu and dumped it in the bush, nobody knows. But they, they said that, as far as they are concerned, they supplied four million uh, trees. Guess what the president said in his uh, uh, statement? That they have planted seven million trees. The president said they have planted seven million. The sector minister said they planted four million. So I think these are deliberate decisions. And guess what? It is, it is in line with this government's behavior since the beginning. They say something and then feel that Ghanaians will buy it. One district, one factory. One million dollar per constituency. And they keep doing it and keep hyping the thing. I will build 88 hospitals in 12 months. And then turn out around and say, look, I can't build in 12 months. I'll, I'll finish in 2025. And guess what? I need 17, uh, uh, well, $1.7 billion and, uh, anyway to do this. So I don't want, I want, don't want to believe well, that but, this, uh, this uh, Fair enough, but your colleague then showed us this, a portion of this document yes. that showed that yes. at least under periodic maintenance program, I think it's this document, yes. between 2009 and 2016, mm -hmm. the total that we had done was 4,636. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, almost eight years of the yeah. Mills Mahama government. Mm -hmm. But for, from 2017 to 2021, mm -hmm. the equivalent figure was 5,418. Okay, so this is under urban roads, feeder roads, highway authority, and asphalting. So he's saying that even if we take away the 4,900 uh, grading that you say we should, we should expunge, the total kilometers that the Akufado government has done mm -hmm. is still more, in five years, mm -hmm. is still more than what your government did in eight years. Bernard, the, the stock of roads that uh, existed under President uh, Rawlings was smaller than the stock of roads that existed under President Kufo. The stock of roads that existed under President uh, Ma uh, Mills Mahama is smaller than the stock of roads that will exist under President Kufo. In fact, the ministry has just completed the inventory, uh, which we do every 10 years. And uh, let me explain. When we say the road network has increased from 78,000 to 94,000, <coughs> mm -hmm. basically what it means is, uh, Bernard, if uh, in, uh, in your hometown, maybe your, your, your farmhouse was five kilometers away, mm. but uh, you started the, uh, expanding your farm, and today communities have sprung up around your farm, mm. and uh, the MP in your, uh, in, uh, of your area goes to tell the FIDA road that, look, we are living here, we want our road done. The day FIDA road go to take inventory of that uh, uh, two kilometers of road and, and report at the office, it's added to the stock of road. They do not have to do any work on it. It just becomes an additional road that government must commit to. So when you see from time to time, government uh, add mm. kilometers to, to road, it doesn't necessarily mean that they have actually done work mm. on it, uh, on, on mm. the road. Mm. Currently, the government's own meet the press suggests that they are, they are considering 11,101 kilometers mm -hmm. of road, mm -hmm. of contracts awarded. So it is easy to say that, oh, they have awarded road projects more than anybody else. But is that what we've been talking to? Uh, to? So is it the case that in 2025, 2026, all NDC need to do is to go and award more roads and start taking uh, credit for it? No, that is not what we talk. We are talking about road interventions that have been done and completed and break them down into the, the sections that people can understand. So it, it shouldn't be uh, difficult to say that President Kufour uh, have uh, done more grading of roads 
than President Rawlings. Why? Because as the population grows, more uh, roads, people are settling at different places. The same way, if you check the roads that have been uh, uh, worked on between uh, President Kufo and President Mills Mahama was more. Indeed, uh, 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 Bernard, in 2025 ongoing, we will have to do more grading or more interventions or more length of road. That does not mean that you are doing better than the previous government. The number of how many interchanges were built under President uh, uh, Rawlings? Compare that to the interchanges that were built by President Kufo. Compare that to the interchanges that were built by President Mills, President Mahama. And compare that that will be built today. It will just tell you that incrementally we are building more because we are having more problems. It doesn't mean one person... It, it's as if, so how one, do we compare records then? Because I thought that was the whole ex basis of Excellent. This. You compare records by looking at how much you spent and what that money did. The entire interventions we did, and, and myself and my former chairman, owner IAP, did a tour of Western Region uh, uh, some time ago. We saw Coco Road Project that were completed 100%, but under the, which were awarded under the NDC, but were not even uh, 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 accounted for. Why? Because the new government said they were investigating Coco, uh, Coco Board for uh, those uh, 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 contracts. But if we were to say that we want to uh, get those uh, uh, updated, that would have been apportioned to NDC. And anybody who tells you that NDP is saying roads that they have completed in 2017, Bernard, it is very unlikely to award a road project in Ghana and get it completed in 12 months. So almost every road project that was completed in 2017 that has been captured here were roads that they inherited. And indeed, roads that were complete, some of the roads that were completed okay. by President Mills would have been road projects that were started by who? President, uh, 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 how do you call it? Uh, President Kufo. So let us not get into this uncharted territory of like, I've done more than you. Currently, there's a project, uh, how do you call it, Independence Square towards uh, the, the beach road uh, kind of a thing. There will be one or two uh, interchanges, uh, 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 I mean, on, on there. Yes, maybe by 2025, they may, they may be com uh, completed. I agree that that is an additional uh, thing that came uh, on board under the NPP. If they take credit for it, I have no problem about it. But it, it's not sup uh, supposed to uh, uh, speak as if no intervention was done on that road under mm -hmm. the ND NDC. Okay. That is an upgrading of the road. Let's talk about Sanohado finally. You, yes. you said earlier on radio that yeah. only 100 million CDs yes, there are dollars, dollars there are, of the Sanohado have been drawn down. Right. We spoke to the vice president's office and they said that figure is way higher. And they st spoke about the loss that had been done. Mm -hmm. So apart from uh, lot five, which is dualization of Adenta Dodowa Road, mm -hmm. and I think lot um, nine, which is Akimoda of Fuasi Road, mm -hmm. almost all other lots have either been finished or are progressing. So, for example, lot one, mm -hmm. Accra Inner City Road, some have been done. Mm -hmm. Lot two, Kumase and Mampo Inner City Road, the vice president was there a couple of weeks ago to launch. <laughs> lot, lot three, Tamale Interchange was Commissioned by the president last week. Lot four, PTC ran. Which one was commissioned? Tamale Interchange. The president okay, was there. Okay, uh -huh. Lot four, PTC ran about mm -hmm. interchange. We are told it's close to 60%. Mm -hmm. uh, lot five, they have not done. Mm -hmm. Lot six, Kumasi, Sunyani Inner City and Brekun Township roads have started, mm -hmm. not finished. Mm -hmm. Pristia and Cape Coast Inner City roads have also started, not mm -hmm. finished. Mm -hmm. Uh, lot 8, upgrading of selected feeder in Ashanti and Western, also started, not finished. Mm -hmm. And then lot 10, just second to the paper, so partly done. So the assertion you're making that only one sixth mm -hmm. of the uh, 646 billion had been drawn down, it's a bit of a stretch. Okay, where, where did that figure come, the 100 million came from? It came from the finance minister's own presentation to parliament. How in far terms, back ago? Uh, just uh, during the, the budget presentation. And uh, let's, let's uh, get to the bottom of it. What, 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 what are they debating? As we speak, there are 10 uh, lots in phase one. Yes. As we speak, only, uh, what do you call it, thermal interchange has been completed. Is that debatable? No. That is a fact. And some of the projects uh, have not even started. Is that not the case? And many of them reported even in the MTEF, the medium term development framework, are uh, 15, 30, 40 percent. So when I'm saying that, mm -hmm. Sino Hydro, when you, are, you ought to complete a project by 2021, mm. 10 of them, which would lead to the rollout of phase two. Mm. And because 
the phase one has so far delayed so much we can't roll out phase two what are they debating what is the vice president office uh, no, since you said only 100 million had been drawn down the, he said the figure is way more than that so how much how much have they given you in terms of uh, <laughs> well that one you have to ask them <laughs> but, but the point he makes is that the he gives the specific uh, bernard the specific progress of all the bernard the lot the the sino hydro we, we are told is a, a, a battle agreement mm -hmm. i.e the chinese have got their own money they are spending mm -hmm. Uh, the spending will be relative to the works that they have done. So all that the minister need to do or the government need to do is to say, we have drawn down $200 million out of the $640 million. They haven't. As far as figures are concerned, they have drawn down just about $100 million. If today they have drawn down $112 million, they should say so. That is the bottom line. We'll leave it here. Thank you for talking to us. That was Governor Kwame Abuja. He's the ranking member on the Roots Committee. He's also the member of parliament for Adaklu. This is still the point of view. Stay with us. We'll be right back. So there you have it. That was uh, Governor Kwame Agboja's take on the state of the nation insofar as roads are concerned. Earlier, I had Kennedy saying, well, the debate of the state of the nation began last week and the last day was today. Parliament will rise and reconvene sometime after Easter. By the time we come back, we would know the state of not just that issue of roads, but other aspects of the economy. We hope you've learned something by joining us tonight on a point of view. Thank you for watching. My name is Bernard Avle. The business dashboard is next. Stay with CTTV. Bye-bye.